Tomorrow is Ohio's primary election, part two. On the ballot, the state house and senate races. It's a special primary, the result of the redistricting roller coaster that all kinds of twists and turns earlier this year. And the whole mess now is leading to low voter turnout. Tom Bosco joining us live now with more. Tom? Yeah, Bob, it was busier than expected here today at the Franklin County Board of Elections. Quite now, of course, since uh, it's after uh, hours. But that may have been an illusion today here on the last day of in-person absentee balloting. The polls will open tomorrow for this strange, unprecedented second primary election. You may not see a whole lot on your ballot, and you may not see a whole lot of voters at the polls either. Mika Johnson got in just under the wire, casting her early absentee vote right before the 2 p.m. deadline on the day before the election. I just don't want to go through the hustle and bustle, you know, um, come tomorrow. But there may not be much hustle and bustle to miss tomorrow. Voter turnout is expected to be light for this unprecedented second primary election. Folks like Tanika voted in the spring primary, but are back again. It's due to the redistricting mess that started last fall and stretched into this election season. The way that I understand it is that there was some remapping, some um, redistricting, and so I guess there's a lot of fighting between the Democrats and the Republicans regarding the map. That pretty much sums it up. The only thing Tanika left out is that the Ohio Supreme Court has declared maps drawn by the commission unconstitutional five times including the House and Senate maps being used in this special primary. It's confusing to voters like Jack and Carmela Gabriel, who stopped by to drop off their absentee ballot. They voted in the spring. Yes, yes. We always come. And are back again. No, I didn't know what was on the ballot until I, you know, I got the ballot. Uh, I thought there'd be more, I thought there'd be more candidates. <laughs> After one of the last redistricting commission sessions, advocates for fair maps let the commission hear it. The Gabriels wish the two sides were more willing to compromise. You know, they used to give and take, but now it seems like it's all party lines. There are 99 House and 17 Senate races that the, that will uh, decide their uh, primary elections and who will get the nomination for a Democrat and Republican. None of those ultimately are considered close for the fall. Live on your side at the Franklin County Board of Elections, I'm Tom Bosco, ABC6 News.